Good morning, friends. I am here with a flip through of a little journal that I just finished and I wanted to share with you. She measures about four and a quarter wide by almost seven inches tall. She's not uh, super thick. She's, uh, let's see, she's an inch wide. So um, I only put um, 80 pages front and back two signatures and um, she's tied closed with a sorry silk ribbon and you can see she's she's loaded with goodies um, she's got a little bit of gold left on her cover and a little bit of writing on the edge she does have a little bit of a stress crease here crack and down here I don't know if you can see that but that's to be expected. She was born in 1930. So here is the book Guts, the original book Guts, and you can opt to have these if you are the buyer. I always put that option on the listing. So let's do a little flip through. Um, right inside the front cover is the, um, what do you call it, library pocket and card. I like to put one of those in my hardcover journals. And we've got a couple journaling cards here. Fun stuff. I love this little tassel on the paper clip. And I put some vintage lace on this first page. And this is just a tag that I made. So it's a mixture of old and new papers in here, but mostly old. Old shorthand there. This is a paper fall. That's what I call them. I don't know what the real word is for them, but it's just a selection of papers that you can play with and or use as is. Some people use it to do a little piece of art on each page. Other people rip them off and use them for collage. Totally up to you. If you decide to take it out, then you've got a pocket here you can play with. And then um, this opens up, and there's some goodies in here. A couple journaling cards, a guest check, uh, painty paper, and that. So the other side of that painty paper is, um, you can see the vintage songbook that it came from. This little piece of lace to flip up here, an old map, this has some old lace on it here, I love this page from a vintage butterfly book, very fun, alright, and then another couple of little journaling cards tucked in here. out. Another little flippy here. Lots of good texture and whatnot in there. So in here I've got another little tag that I made and just some miscellaneous ephemera and a journaling card. Get everybody tucked back in there. Could just leave them out for the flip through, I suppose. This is an actual vintage photograph and a little piece of ephemera. And this paper clip has a little pocket that you can stick things into. It's also got a little vintage um, vocab card there. And then behind there, because this is a paper clip, um, is that vintage. Well, it's one of the vintage writings that I got from that notebook I showcased earlier. That's from an old yearbook. More painty pages. This is from a very old science book. And another journaling card. And this is actually just a blank card. This is an actual vintage airmail letter. 
so you can take that apart and read it. And that's just a little cluster that I made. Oops. This is an actual vintage photograph and a couple pieces of random paper and then this is the signature tag that I put in my hardcover journals. This is a little journaling spot that I made out of a vintage brick rack um, label. And a couple of ephemera pieces tucked in there. And an actual vintage photograph on the back. So that's it, 80 pages if you count front and back. And she will be available on my Etsy site along with other goodies on September 24th. Um, I make those listings live somewhere between 6 and 7 a.m. I get them all ready to go the night before, and then as soon as I wake up, I activate the listings. So, and that is Arizona time, if I didn't say so already. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.